Dagestan, a small but incredibly diverse republic in the North Caucasus, is often called a mountain of languages. With more than 30 distinct ethnic groups and over a dozen languages spoken, its cultural variety is unmatched in Europe. But what about its DNA? Scientists have been diving into the genetics of Dagestanis, and what they found is just as remarkable and surprising as its cultural tapestry. The genetic origins of Dagestanis reveal a story that stretches far beyond the steep slopes of the Caucasus Mountains. Modern studies show that the people here are not descended from a single ancient tribe, but from a blend of lineages dating back tens of thousands of years. Their DNA carries traces from early Caucasus hunter-gatherers, steppe nomads, ancient Iranian farmers, and even distant populations from the Middle East and Central Asia. Why such a mix? Geography holds the answer. The Caucasus Mountains form both a barrier and a crossroads, shielding communities from invaders while also serving as a key corridor for migrations between Europe, Asia, and the Middle East. Over centuries, waves of traders, warriors, and settlers passed through, some staying and blending into the local population. Even more fascinating is the deep genetic continuity. While outside influences have left their mark, many Dagestani groups retain a unique genetic signature that sets them apart from neighboring regions. This rare combination of isolation and connection has made Dagestan a living laboratory for genetic diversity. In this journey, we'll uncover how ancient migrations, mountain geography, and cultural resilience shaped the DNA of Dagestanis, and what it tells us about human history itself. Long before the rise of kingdoms, empires, or even agriculture, the rugged slopes of the Caucasus were home to some of the earliest human communities in Eurasia. Archaeological and genetic evidence shows that the ancestors of modern Dagestanis include descendants of Caucasus hunter-gatherers, a population that lived here at least 13,000 years ago, possibly much longer. These ancient peoples left a genetic legacy so distinct that scientists can still detect it in modern Dagestani DNA today. The Caucasus served as a refuge during the Ice Age, when much of Europe and Asia was too cold for sustained human habitation. Sheltered valleys and rich biodiversity allowed small groups to survive in relative isolation, preserving genetic lineages that might have disappeared elsewhere. This isolation is one reason why some Dagestani groups remain genetically unique even after thousands of years. But these early inhabitants weren't completely cut off from the world. Ancient DNA studies reveal traces of contact between Caucasus hunter-gatherers and early farmers from the Fertile Crescent, modern-day Iraq, Syria, and surrounding areas, about 8,000 to 9,000 years ago. These farmers brought with them knowledge of agriculture, domesticated animals, and new technologies, along with their own genetic signatures. Interestingly, the Caucasus hunter-gatherers also contributed genes to populations far beyond their mountain homeland. Studies show their DNA mixing into steppe nomads in the north, and through them, influencing the ancestry of people across Europe and Central Asia. In this sense, Dagestan's ancient ancestors were not just isolated survivors. They were also key participants in prehistoric networks of migration and exchange. In the mountains of Dagestan today, this deep ancestry remains a living thread. From the Lesgians to the Avars, many ethnic groups carry genetic markers tracing directly back to these Ice Age populations. Combined with later waves of influence, this early layer forms the bedrock of Dagestani identity, a reminder that even in one of the world's most diverse regions, there are roots that run deeper than recorded history. By the Bronze Age, roughly 5,000 years ago, Dagestan's ancient Caucasus population began encountering new waves of migrants from two very different worlds the sophisticated farming cultures of the Iranian plateau and the mobile horse-riding societies of the Eurasian steppe. From the south came people connected to early Iranian-speaking civilizations. These groups likely traveled north through the Caspian lowlands, bringing advanced metallurgy, new crops, and domesticated animals. Genetic studies show that Dagestani populations absorbed some of this Iranian-related ancestry, which blended with their older Caucasus hunter-gatherer roots. This southern influence also connected the region to the wider network of ancient civilizations stretching from Mesopotamia to the Indus Valley. From the north and northeast came steppe nomads, Indo-European-speaking peoples, such as the Amnea, and later Scythians, Sarmatians, and Alans. These horse-riding societies brought not only military power, but also a distinct genetic signature that can still be traced in Dagestan today. 
While their overall contribution was smaller than the local Caucasus ancestry, their arrival introduced new cultural practices, trade connections, and even linguistic elements that influenced parts of the region. The geography of Dagestan meant these influences were uneven. Coastal lowlands and river valleys saw more mixing with outside populations, while highland villages often remained genetically distinct, resisting large-scale assimilation. This pattern, interaction at the fringes, preservation in the mountains, would repeat throughout Dagestan's history. By the end of the first millennium BCE, Dagestan's genetic profile was already a complex mosaic. Ancient Caucasus roots interwoven with strands from Iranian farmers and Eurasian steppe warriors. This foundation set the stage for the even greater diversity that would come in the medieval and early modern periods. The 7th and 8th centuries brought a profound cultural and genetic shift to Dagestan. As the Islamic Caliphate expanded northward from the Middle East, Arab armies, traders, and scholars reached the Caucasus, introducing Islam to the region. While the mountainous terrain meant that conversion and integration were gradual, Arab influence left both a spiritual and biological mark on the Dagestani people. Genetic research reveals small but detectable traces of Arabian and broader Middle Eastern ancestry in certain Dagestani populations, particularly those in southern and lowland areas that were more accessible to trade and migration routes. This influence likely came not from mass settlement, but from smaller numbers of Arab soldiers, religious teachers, and merchants who intermarried with local communities. The Islamic period also intensified Dagestan's role as a crossroads between diverse peoples. Alongside Arabs came Persians, Turks, and merchants from as far as Central Asia, each adding new threads to the region's genetic tapestry. Over centuries, Islam became a unifying cultural identity across Dagestan's many ethnic groups, even as their genetic diversity remained remarkable. Interestingly, highland areas again showed resilience in preserving ancient genetic patterns, with less Middle Eastern influence than the plains. This balance, new influences layered over enduring roots, helped create the complex DNA profile that defines Dagestanis today. The medieval period brought yet another transformative wave to Dagestan's genetic and cultural landscape, this time from the vast open steppes of Central Asia. Beginning in the 11th century, Turkic-speaking nomadic groups such as the Kipchaks, Kumans, and later the Nogais began moving into the Caucasus region. Their arrival was driven by shifting alliances, warfare, and the search for new pastures. Genetically, these Turkic migrations introduced Central Asian ancestry into Dagestan though its impact varied by location. Lowland areas along the Caspian coast and major trade routes saw more intermarriage with Turkic newcomers, while mountain villages remained relatively insulated. Still, certain Dagestani communities today carry identifiable genetic markers linked to Turkic origins, including some patterns shared with populations in Kazakhstan and Uzbekistan. The 13th century brought the most dramatic influence, the Mongol invasion. Under the leadership of Genghis Khan's descendants, the Mongol Empire swept across Eurasia, including parts of the North Caucasus. While the Mongols never fully occupied Dagestan's rugged highlands, their presence was felt in the form of tribute to man's military campaigns and the movement of peoples under their rule. Genetic traces of East Asian ancestry in some Dagestani populations are likely a legacy of this era, blending with earlier Turkic contributions. These centuries of steppe influence were not purely destructive. The Turkic and Mongol periods also expanded trade connections, linked Dagestan more closely to Silk Road networks, and introduced new cultural practices, from horsemanship to military organization. The result was another layer in Dagestan's already complex DNA mosaic, illustrating how the region's history is a constant interplay between resilience and adaptation. From the early 19th century onward, Dagestan entered a new chapter under Russian imperial expansion. Following decades of conflict, including the Caucasian War, Dagestan was gradually incorporated into the Russian Empire. This brought new waves of genetic influence, though, as with earlier periods, geography shaped how much reached different communities. Russian soldiers, administrators, and settlers in lowland towns sometimes intermarried with local populations, introducing Eastern Slavic genetic markers. However, the mountain villages, with their strong clan structures and relative isolation, maintain much of their ancestral profile. 
The Soviet era accelerated population movements. Industrialization projects, urban growth, and collectivization policies brought workers from across the USSR, Russians, Ukrainians, Armenians, Georgians, and Central Asians, into Dagestan cities. At the same time, some Dagestanis moved to other Soviet republics for education, military service, or labor, returning with spouses from diverse backgrounds. While the overall Slavic genetic contribution to Dagestan remained modest compared to ancient Caucasus, Iranian, Turkic, and Arab layers, it became more noticeable in certain urban populations. The Soviet emphasis on a unified identity also encouraged inter-ethnic marriages, subtly blending DNA that had remained separate for centuries. By the end of the 20th century, Dagestan's genetic map reflected both deep-rooted continuity in the highlands and modern-era mixing in the lowlands, a dual pattern that continues today. Recent genetic research has shed new light on the complex ancestry of Dagestanis, revealing a fascinating mosaic shaped by millennia of migration, conquest, and cultural exchange. Advances in DNA sequencing allow scientists to trace subtle genetic markers that tell stories far beyond recorded history. Modern studies confirm that Dagestan's population carries deep roots in the ancient peoples of the Caucasus, with strong continuity stretching back thousands of years. Yet, this core heritage is layered with traces from Iranian, Turkic, Arab, and Slavic peoples, reflecting waves of migration and interaction. Surprisingly, despite centuries of Russian and Soviet influence, the genetic imprint of Slavic populations remains relatively limited in most Dagestani groups, especially in mountainous areas. Instead, the dominant genetic signals continue to highlight the region's unique position as a crossroads between Europe and Asia. These findings underscore the remarkable genetic diversity within Dagestan. Each ethnic group, whether Avars, Dargans, Kumiks, or Lesgians, shows distinct patterns that mirror their unique histories, languages, and geographic isolation or openness. Moreover, Ongoing studies are uncovering genetic markers that hint at even older connections, linking Dagestanis to early human migrations out of Africa and the development of the Caucasus as a refuge during the last Ice Age. This complex genetic tapestry not only enriches our understanding of Dagestan's past, but also challenges simplistic notions of identity. It reveals a people shaped by diversity, resilience, and centuries of blending cultures, an enduring testament to the human story written in our DNA. The rich genetic heritage of Dagestan plays a powerful role in shaping the identity of its diverse peoples today. This ancient tapestry of ancestry is a living reminder of the region's history as a vibrant crossroads of cultures, languages, and traditions. For Dagestanis, understanding their complex genetic origins fosters a deep sense of pride in their unique place within the Caucasus and the broader Eurasian landscape. It highlights the endurance of their communities through centuries of shifting empires, invasions, and migrations. This resilience is reflected not only in their DNA, but also in preservation of distinct languages, customs, and religious traditions. The variety of genetic influences, from indigenous Caucasian roots to Turkic, Iranian, and Arab layers, mirrors the multicultural reality of Dagestan society. It challenges any narrow or simplistic view of ethnic identity, emphasizing instead a shared history of interaction and blending. This inclusive perspective helps promote mutual respect among Dagestan's many ethnic groups, reinforcing social cohesion in a region known for its diversity. Moreover, modern genetic research connects Dagestanis to broader human history, reminding them of their link to early human migrations and survival through Ice Age refuges. This ancient connection contributes to a profound sense of belonging to both their local homeland and humanity as a whole. In a rapidly changing world, these insights encourage Dagestanis to celebrate their past while embracing a future shaped by unity and diversity. Their genetic story is a testament to the power of cultural endurance and the rich complexity of identity, one that continues to evolve with each generation.